What's up guys, c 13 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the PhotoFast AM9500 N95 positive pressure filter mask. All right guys, so when PhotoFast, the company that manufactures the AM9500 personal filtration system contacted me and said, hey, do you want to take a look at our positive pressure filter mask? I was a little wary. Now, I tell you this every time, but it needs to be said because I know you guys aren't going to see everything that goes on behind the scenes. And that is that I get contacted by all kinds of companies for all kinds of products. And I can tell you firsthand that most of them really suck. All right, and that's why you never even see them because I know it's not worth my time for the company because they're looking for good exposure and I'm telling them, hey, look, your product doesn't look all that good, doesn't fit my audience or whatever. But the reason I accepted to do this video is just how compelling this thing is. Now, like in every video that I do, you're gonna hear my honest opinions. The fact that they sent me this to take a look at doesn't change a thing. I know that if you buy something based on my recommendation, especially like a mask, it's important that what I tell you is what I honestly believe. Now, with that being said, the thing that sets this apart from a lot of the other specialty masks that I've seen out there on the market is that it does two things. One, it provides positive pressure inside the mask. So not only does it make it easier to breathe because you're not fighting the resistance of trying to draw air through a filter medium, you're also going to have much less moisture and CO2 buildup because air is constantly being forced into the mask and finding its way out, therefore, in effect, cycling in new, clean, filtered air. The other thing that it does that I haven't seen on any other mask, even on other masks that would provide some breathing improvement like those with exhalation valves, is that this will still filter the air exiting the mask as well. This way it provides double protection, not only for you, but for everyone else. Because the reality is, if you were to be contaminated and then you were wearing a mask with an exhalation valve, yeah, you'll be protected, but every time you breathe out, that air is gonna go out that exhalation valve and potentially could infect other people if there were viral particles in there. Another thing that's pretty interesting is that this is one of the only masks that I've seen that is actually recognized by the FDA as a medical device. You know, a lot of these masks you see out there that have no actual recognition as a medical device. Now, I will say that this is just recognition as a medical device. It doesn't state exactly to what level of protection it has, but again, the fact that it's recognized as a medical device to me holds a lot more weight than empty claims on an Amazon page or anything like that. So anyway, with that being said, let's get into the video. And as always, if you wanna check anything out, you know the links will be in the description. And in this case, I was able to get you guys a discount so you can check that out in the link below. But uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so here's the package as I received it. Again, this thing came all the way from Taiwan. And as I said before, if you want to check this thing out, you can go to their website, refreshmasks.com. But this thing is in fact manufactured in Taiwan, not China. So this thing is made in Taiwan. Now, current price is going to fluctuate a lot. So I would say check their website. But I also do have a discount code for you guys that might be interested. The code is CT30OFF. All caps for the letters. Again, you'll see it on screen as well. That's CT30 off. That's going to give you $30 off of the air filtration system. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the package. And you can see, I really got to throw this thing on the cami and get it sharp because it is very dull. All right. So here it is. Comes in a plain white box. Not super heavy. Now this thing's claim to fame is that it actually allows for ventilation within the mask. So unlike most masks, which are passive filtration, this has an active filtration system. So it's actively circulating air. And you'll see here, all right, PhotoFast, that's, uh, that's the guys who make this thing. And this is their refresh mask. And you can see this is N95 rated. And like I said before, for those of you guys that are out there 
saying, well, you know, they, I see all these products in the market. They're, you know, they, they say N95, N99, P100, N100, whatever. Is that actually legit? I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out the FDA approval certificate that shows that this is in fact N95 rated. So that is really cool to see. A lot of companies don't back up their claims, but they sure do. So this thing's got some pretty nice packaging. If you take a look at the back here, you'll see it says built-in air circulation system. It's got N95 grade filter protection. Again, we've talked about that. Check out the link in the description. If you wanna see the FDA approval certificate, it releases moisture and heat. It prevents carbon dioxide buildup. Again, guys, no flame war in the comments about whether or not CO2 buildup is an issue or not. The point is, regardless, an active circulation system will in fact reduce any sort of gas buildup whatsoever. It's rechargeable and reusable, which is always good to see, you know, no swapping in batteries or anything like that. And it charges via micro USB. And the, the cool thing is too, as it says right here, the filter will still work, obviously, even if the air purifier filter powered system is, is dead. And the cool thing is you can actually use this thing while it's charging. Now, I really gotta have to see how that works. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open. Again, very nice packaging. So from what I'm seeing here on the top, this is gonna be your active filtration circulation unit. And for any of you guys that have ever used or seen a CPAP or CPAP mask, this is very familiar to sort of your, your nose and mouth CPAP mask. Because again, some people, when they sleep, their mouth will just open. And as a result, they need something that covers and seals both their nose and mouth. So that's what this is for. You can see there, there's your squirrel cage style fan. Your button here is on the bottom along with your charging port. So I'm gonna leave that right here. And we'll take a look at what else is in the box. Here you have your external filter. So this is gonna be the external filter portion. Let's take a look if we can open this. So this is just the outer cover on top, right? Which is gonna allow you to strap this to your, your head, but, uh, and, and, and acts like an additional sort of outward filter, right? So it prevents you from exhaling particles. And then the actual filter filter, the N95 filter materials, are these little patches. And these are actually the N95 protection. So you're kind of getting double protection here. You're breathing through this thing, which is like a standard fabric mask, which let's be honest, while it's effective if everybody wears one, in terms of protecting you from virus particles and that sort of thing, isn't gonna be terribly effective. But of course you are effectively doubling up protection right here. So these are these little filters. And then the only other thing is here, we've got a nice flat micro USB cable. So that's very nice to see. And then we've just got a little paperwork at the bottom here. Take a quick look at this. So we can see here, AM 9500 Intelligent Personal Air Purifier. PhotoFast AM 9500 Intelligent Personal Air Purifier provides protection and pure clean air for you. The N95 grade filter blocks 95% of dust particles when you breathe. The built-in electric fan provides fresh, clean, fresh air. So we got a little repetition there. Solves the hot and stuffy breathing problem of a traditional face mask. This is not a medical device. And you know, that's standard stuff for most masks. So if we look here at the bottom, it talks about how to charge it. Three hours of charge will la last around three to eight hours of use with the fan on. Um, it says with the N95 grade filters, it recommends that you change them daily based on the amount of use. You want to put the outer mask obviously over this breathing module then press the power key to change the fan speed the default is low there's three modes obviously battery life is going to vary between those modes your battery is going to be a lithium lithium polymer battery built in if you power on the unit there's a green led if the power's off the led's off if it's charging the, the light will flash red if it's green it's full if it's charging when it's on the led will also flash red and the light and the LED will be green as well if charging is complete. So it seems like for both charging when on and off, the logic in terms of the LED light color is about the same. And when there is low power on running on battery, less than 25%, the light will be red. So that's pretty cool. So depending on fan speed, you're, it says you're supposed to get between three to eight hours. Now, obviously we're gonna put that to the test, but 
at low fan speed, which I suspect is going to be enough for most people. If, if this could get eight hours of use, that's incredible. You know, especially for somebody that's going to be constantly, you know, wearing a mask on the, on the job and that sort of thing. I can't imagine wearing a surgical, a standard surgical mask for eight hours on, on, on a job. It, I mean, it, it would just be brutal. And so the thing is have something like this, making sure that your face is still ventilated properly, that you're not, your face isn't sweating inside and, and, and just making your mask a, a mucky, soggy mess. Something like this would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's just do a quick test here to see if this unit has any power. And if it does, I'll quickly go over the functions that I just read to you about from the manual when it comes to using the button and the interface. And then we'll go ahead and set up the mask and then I'll go ahead and try it on for you guys and let you know how it works. So first, let's just push the button and see if it turns on. Okay, you gotta press and hold and you can see this is low. I'm gonna hold this up to the microphone to see if you guys can hear it. It's not loud and it's not intrusive in nature and it's not uh, sort of an annoying sound either. It's very quiet and this is low. If we push the button again, we'll get that medium mode and there's a decent amount of airflow. This is medium. I'm gonna hold this plastic in front and I'm trying to see if there's a way I can show you guys. All right, I've got this dryer sheet here. I don't know if you guys can see that it's moving, but you know we've got a decent amount of airflow here and that's just in medium. I'll turn it all the way up to high. And that's honestly excessive, at least it would be for me. But you can see it's blowing a lot of air. And um, yeah, that's, I mean, plenty. Honestly, this is low. I'm gonna hold the dryer sheet in front on low. And even on low, you can see it's moving. And honestly, unless it was absolutely scorching outside, low would be more than enough, you know, to make sure that you're not sweating inside your mask and all that. And you can see here, the green LED indicates that it's on and in a good state of charge. If that light turns red, you've got 25% or less. Now to turn it off, you just press and hold. And it shuts off. Now, one of the benefits of this system as well is it's it's effectively a positive pressure air system that just fits on your mask. So I don't know if you've seen those pandemic movies or even just footage of different infectious disease laboratories, you know, at work, the stock footage they use on like news channels and stuff where they're talking about people doing research on viruses and stuff. One of the systems that they use that's the most effective for prolonged uh, protection is a positive air pressure system. Now it comes in two types. You've got the positive air pressure system that still just works on your face, but it's a full face respirator. And then there's a unit that's a blower unit that's pulling air through a filter and it's pos it's adding positive pressure to your face. So essentially there's very low risk of leakage because the pressure is actually trying to make its way out of the mask, effectively pushing away at air that's trying to come in. So instead of sucking through a filter and a seal and hoping that there's no hole that something could be sucked through, you're actually having positive air pressure enter the mask. So breathing is very easy. There's no effort. You're not pulling air through anything. And also the risk of leakage is very low. As long as the blower unit's running, there's very little risk of leakage because the air is in fact pressing its way out. So that's the advantage there. Now there's other ones that are full suits that are inflated. Basically, you don't even wear anything on your face and the entire suit is inflated and it works the same way. This unit works like that and it gives you all the advantages of a positive air pressure system, i.e. ease of breathing, reducing the risks of, of mask leakage and contamination, and also reducing the moisture and condensation and gas buildup that you can sometimes experience in other types of masks. So honestly, this is a very innovative product. And you know what? Of course, I'm still gonna put this thing through its paces, so keep watching. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you how to set up the mask, get the filter material in there, put the outer covering on as well, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys a demo of me putting it on. All right, guys, so this is the important step that you wanna make sure you're doing right. Installing these little filters, because remember, this is the actual N95 portion, all right? This is just an extra fabric covering that prevents you from exhaling particles, and it adds like a second layer of protection on top of that but your primary safety filtration is coming from this N95 element. So this is important. So first of all, I'd recommend, you know, if you're gonna be doing this and you were just out and you're changing, you're coming back into the house and you wanna change a filter, make sure your hands are thoroughly clean, spray the outside of this with alcohol, just so that you're not contaminating your own mask, okay? So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open this. So once you have this thing open, 
This is important. The filter material has two sides. It has a side that's completely flat and more smooth, and it's got a side that's a little bit sort of more rough and fluffy. It's also slightly raised in the middle. This is the side you need to have facing out. So when you insert this into the mask, you wanna put it in like this, all right? And you wanna slide this forward, just like that. And you wanna push it all the way down so that it makes a good seal. Now the thing is, if you put this in backwards, it's not gonna be effective because you're gonna have issues with breathing and it also won't seal effectively and it certainly won't provide you the same level of protection. So this is important. This is an important step to do. And once you have it in, you wanna double check and make sure that it doesn't move around too much. Now, obviously a little movement is okay. You can see I can still pull it out if I really needed to, but you wanna make sure that your, your corners here are in place. They're not lifted up in any way and there's no bunching happening on any of the edges. You want it to sit flush all the way around. If you see any bunching here, pull it out and put it back in again and make sure it's sitting flat. All right, now we're gonna take a look at this part of the mask because let's be honest, the mask isn't just the inside, it's also how you actually wear it on your face. So we need to take a look and see if this particular section of the mask, the part that goes around your head, measures up as well. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And you've got two straps here. I'm gonna take these out, make sure they're even. You're gonna take your blower unit with your N95 filter already installed, and you're gonna slip that inside the mask, just like that. And then you're gonna slip this over your head, and that is what you're gonna wear. Now, before I get to the demo of me putting this thing on, I just wanna add one point, which is that if you look at the outside of this mask, it, it looks very inconspicuous. And I like that a lot because I know personally many people who, well, although would love to have more protection, object to the, let's just say, less uh, mainstream look or more uh, conspicuous look of higher protection filter masks. Something like this is gonna combine the more inconspicuous look of a standard cloth or surgical mask with the drastically increased protection and comfort of an N95 mask with actual positive air pressure filtration. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and see how this fits on my head. All right guys, so I've got the mask here. I've got the straps adjusted so they're tight but not overly tight. Again, you wanna make sure that this is making a decent seal with your face, but you don't wanna you know, kill your face either. So now go, go ahead and slip this thing over my head. I gotta say, it comfortably fits over my nose and mouth. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's not the worst thing in the world for limiting your voice, but it's obviously gonna muffle it a little bit. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and turn the fan on. So starting here in low, as opposed to just breathing through it passively without the fan on. This does seem a little bit better. And I can feel the fresh air on my face. So definitely reducing the moisture already. I'm gonna turn it on to medium now. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. Even breathing deeply, I don't feel in impeded by the airflow at all. In fact, it's much easier to breathe. And between breaths, I can feel nice, cool, fresh air coming in. And I don't get that same soggy feeling that I get whenever I wear a non-valve mask. So whenever you wear a mask that doesn't have a valve, it turns the inside of the mask into a super humid environment. So this is nice. I'll turn it up one more. All right, so this is like turbo. This is the highest setting. If you're in an environment where you really need a lot of airflow, it's really hot, it's really humid, this is gonna be great for you because it's gonna keep that down to a minimum and it's gonna let you breathe really easily. Like I'm taking, I'll take some deep breaths here. I don't feel like I'm having a hard time breathing in or breathing out, so this is definitely very nice in terms of the wearing experience. 
So that being said, I'm gonna try this thing for a few days out in the field, quite literally. I'm gonna wear this thing whenever I go out and I wanna see how I like it and how it performs. All right guys, so I've been using the refresh mask anytime I go out and I think I can give you my honest take on this thing. Honestly, I'm very impressed with this thing. Now it is getting to be winter, so temperature and heat and that sort of thing aren't quite as big a deal because the cooler air helps to avoid any moisture buildup and that sort of thing. And generally I would in the past wear a full face respirator. So uh, moisture buildup wasn't actually as big a deal in that mask, but when compared to a standard surgical mask or even the Cyrex mask that I've done a video on before, you can click the card above to check that one out. This is a big improvement. So let's go over the pros and cons. So the biggest pro, like I already mentioned, is the drastically improved ventilation. Uh, I never once felt like I was struggling to pull air or having to try even a little bit harder than normal to breathe and pull air through a filter media because again, there's positive pressure in here. Another thing that's a benefit is that there was a drastic reduction in the moisture and that sort of thing like I talked about before. So I didn't really feel any humidity buildup. Third of all, there is obviously a two-way filter system. So basically in a conventional mask like the Cyrex or even a full face respirator, right? That has an exhalation valve in order to sort of do double duty and protect others as well as protecting yourself, you'd have to put an additional surgical mask or filter media on the exhalation port. With this, you do double duty, you're pulling air through that N95 filter and you're still blowing the positive pressure air through this cloth filter media. So it does double duty. Now, when I was out using this thing, I never once ran out of power. Uh, never even gave me an indication. Now I'll tell you that I don't typically go out for very long, so I didn't really get to test it to its extremes. I did do a sort of battery test when I was just letting it sit indoors pulling air and I was able to get maybe four or five hours and it still hadn't given me the low battery warning. It did take a while to charge back up though. In addition, I never got to utilize the sort of pass through charging capability that this thing has being that it can be used while it's charging because again, I never ran close to or out of battery. The important thing to note is when I did inspect this thing further, and I think I'll have included this earlier in the video as well in editing, but there is no valve for the outlet port for the air that comes in. So basically, in order for, order for this thing to maintain an N95 level of filtration, you're gonna need to have power on this thing. So basically the N95 protection is only gonna work so long as the blower still has power. Because again, you're relying on that positive pressure to keep contaminants out. Because like I said, if we look here, you'll see there's this vent here. And then if you look on the inside, that's actually the outlet path for the air that's blown into the mask. And you'll see there is sort of a screen, but there's no valve. Now a valve would be a great implementation because it would allow, it would be a unidirectional or one-way valve. So basically, the air that's pulled in through the filter media, the N95 filter, can be blown out of the mask, but no air can come in. So let's say the battery dies, you're only gonna be pulling air through your N95 filter media. Unfortunately, there is no valve, and so as a result, you're really only gonna get that excellent N95 protection when there's still battery in this thing. When the battery runs out, you're gonna be pulling air through both the N95 filter media and this much more porous fabric mask. So do keep that in mind. As for the cons, there really aren't any big deal breakers I can think of. Again, you know, the battery issue, that's not that big a deal because the battery life is so good. And if you're even gonna be using this in a very prolonged situation, well, you, gar you already know this thing can be used while it's charging. So worst comes to worst, you're gonna have a cord attached to your face for a little while. The only thing I can say that's a, 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 an issue, and this is really a nitpick, is that because of how close this back plate is to the to your face when you're wearing it. Sometimes if I'm talking or if I'm trying to just adjust my lips for whatever reason, my lips will repeatedly rub against this and I feel like it's just kind of gross having something touching my lips and then getting potentially, you know, get from the moisture from my mouth. And so that's something to keep in mind. If you got this, you're gonna wanna clean that area a lot if you wear the mask a lot. But, but really guys, I can't think of any downsides. I mean, I guess the only other thing would be that in terms of speech, your speech can be a little bit muffled. As you can see, slightly muffled, but 
still very understandable, you know? And again, I think already, if you're gonna be in a situation where you're gonna be talking a lot, this wouldn't be something you're gonna wear anyway. This is gonna be something that you're gonna wear in a situation where you're gonna be in a high traffic area, in a constantly exposed to other people, but you don't want to have to worry about your mask coming down or moisture buildup because you're doing strenuous physical labor, anything like that. This is the real advantage here. Like, let's say you're going to go work out at a gym. Okay. And this ain't just, you know, your run of the mill. Oh, I go at two in the morning and there's nobody there. Jim, we're talking like you go to this gym and we're talking like every piece of equipment is taken by somebody, right? Somebody's everybody's working out. Well, you can wear this, not have to worry about a lack of airflow, CO2 buildup, moisture, any of that, but also still have that ultimate protection, right? You're getting way better protection with something like this than a surgical mask while suffering almost none of the downsides of a surgical mask or a, a standard passive N95 mask or anything like that. So about the only other criticism I can lay on this thing, and again, these are all real nitpicks, but guys, uh, PhotoFast, if you guys could make this outer part in black, that would be even better because something like white, you know, white is hard to keep clean, let's be honest. And even though you can wash this and, and you know, clean it, white will eventually stain and that sort of thing. And so I think a black or a gray, just other color options would be really cool, especially since this isn't going to be the hard part to manufacture, right? This is where the brains are at. This is where this is where the, the magic is happening. So something like this, to be able to offer this with a, a black material and maybe just a white strap or even a black strap, that would be pretty cool because I think it would offer people more options if, if they want something a little bit easier to keep clean. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm very, very happy with this thing. Again, I was very skeptical when they contacted me, but then when I did my own research on it, uh, I was already kind of, I, it, that really piqued my interest. And when I got this thing in my hands, I was already impressed. But then when it came to actually wearing this thing out in public and using it and experiencing the reduction in breathing effort, even though I never really encountered an issue personally myself with uh, standard passive type masks, it was noticeable. Let's, let's be clear, it was very noticeable. And again, the reduction in moisture and, and all of that. So honestly, I'm very impressed with this. There is no perfect product in the world. You saw my nitpicks, but as far as innovative masks go, there are not that many downsides, uh, especially if you're somebody that needs that extra level of protection, right? Let's say you're somebody with a compromised immune system or a pre-existing condition or something else that really puts you at extra risk where, hey, listen, maybe you won't die, but there could be some serious health effects if you were to get infected. But when you wear something that's got high level protection, like a typical passive N95 mask, you're not able to breathe effectively, or maybe you've got weaker lungs. Or if you wear one that has exhalation valves, maybe then you're struggling with the idea of, well, maybe I could be spreading the virus, or if I'm working in an environment with close contact with the same people every day, that could be a big problem as well. Well, this solves all your problems, you know? So honestly, I'm very impressed with this thing. PhotoFast, if you're listening, the only other thing I'd say is, Offer this in more colors. Uh, I'd like to see this in black or gray, this outer part, again, that shouldn't be hard to do. And then maybe make this strap in different colors as well, just to give more variety for people and more choices because you know the brains of the operation is here. So this, you should be able to have some more variety on that. And honestly, the only other thing I'd say is if you could add some sort of one-way valve on this uh, exhaust port, that would, that would finish the package, right? That would make it absolutely great because that would mean that you could get that same level of N95 protection even when the mask runs out of battery, right? Even when this, the, the blower runs out of battery, there's no change at the protection level because the only air you're going to be pulling through is through your N95 filter media. All right, guys. So if you're interested in checking this out, of course, you can look in the description. There's a discount code in there for $30 off. There's a link to their website. And if you like the video, be sure to give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or your own experience with the Refresh Mask, I would definitely be interested in hearing that. I think all of us would. And as always, if you want to see more, don't forget to get subscribed. <laughs>